Hello everyone, this is Anthony Montabano with UndergroundTrainingLab.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to install WordPress with Fantastico. Fantastico is a feature found on some web hosts that allow you to install other software such as WordPress and Joomla really quickly and easy. Most cPanel web hosts will have Fantastico, not all of them, so do check your web host before using this process. But I'm going to log into one of my cPanel hosts here and I'll install WordPress with Fantastico. So the first thing we need to do is go to our cPanel login for the account that we want to install WordPress to. So here I am here, I'm just going to log in real quick. Okay, now that I've logged into my cPanel, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for Fantastico, which can be found right in our software and services right here, you can see Fantastico Deluxe. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to take me to the Fantastico installer. Now you're going to see there's a bunch of options over here on the left hand side. We're going to click on WordPress. And now we need to install a new version. So we're going to click right here. It says New Installation. And now we're going to select the domain that we'd like to install it on. So just select from a drop down. I'm just going to use the one that they already have here for me. And now if you want, if you don't want to be in the root directory, you can install it in a subdirectory such as forward slash blog or forward slash site or however else you want to do it. But I'm just going to install it on the root directory. So I'm going to leave this blank here. Now under admin access data, I have to give it a admin username and password. This is what you're going to use to log in to your blog, your WordPress blog, once you install it. So I'm just going to make something real simple here. I would highly suggest you use a much more cryptic password than what I'm going to use here, but this is just to show you how to set this up. And now basic configuration. Again, I'm just going to use a quick nickname and then an email. The email address that's going to be on the account here is if you happen to lose the password for your WordPress, you can have a email sent to this email address here with your password to for password recovery. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And now I need to give it a site name. So this is the name of the blog or the site that you're building. I'm just going to call it a sample site. And a quick description. It could just be a quick one sentence description. I'm just going to do something for samples. And now we're going to click on install WordPress. And show me here that it's about to install it. Now all I have to do is click on finish installation. And at this point, it's finished installing WordPress. Now you just use your username and password to log in. You can click on the link that it gives you to take you over to the blog's admin. So I'll do that right now. Now here's my login. And I'll just use the username and password that I created inside of Fantastico. And click on login. And here we are at the WordPress dashboard. So at this point, we've successfully installed WordPress using Fantastico. If you'd like to take a look at your site, you can just click on Visit Site up here at the top left. And there it is. There's the WordPress site that we built with Fantastico. And that's it.